Hey guys, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to draw these water closet carriers the MEP guy way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete all of these piping and carriers in a floor plan, and we're just gonna redraw the system. Now what I used to do is I would start drawing some sanitary piping, maybe off this way into this way, just like that. Maybe I need a clean out over here so I could click this elbow fitting and change it to a T, and then I just can continue drawing piping this way. Maybe put a little clean out over here, just like that. We can cap open ends to create a little clean out. And then I would just maybe use my connect into command so I can select the fixture, select sanitary, and we can just connect into it or we can do it the old fashioned way, just like that. And the last one, we can also use the connect into command. That works great. So this is kind of how I used to draw it. And if I wanted to draw some vent piping, I would just need to maybe set this up in a way to make it easy on myself. So maybe I'll just create similar here. I'll select two inches of pipe and maybe I'll start it from let's say four feet and I would draw it to a point right here and then I'm just gonna drop it down to the middle of that piece and it creates a nice T fitting. And then I would basically just move this fitting over as close as possible until Revit gives me an error message and I click cancel. And then I know I have that little sliver left of space. And this would essentially act as my closet carrier even though it's not a closet carrier so then what i would might want to do is i might want to select this piece of pipe over here deselect this fitting and now that i have the pipe selected i can basically copy it to multiple positions so maybe i'll copy it from this point make sure multiple selected and we'll just copy it over over and over and now i have it in a consistent location each time Maybe I want to take a look at this in a 3D view to kind of show you guys. The first thing I might want to do though is drag this piping all the way over just like that. And then we'll go to a 3D view and we'll just make these connections really quick. I'm just going to use the trim command and you can use the trim extend multiple command. So if I just use that, I can quickly click on these and I can use it again down here. But this time I actually have to use the trim command each time. So I'm just going to do that. And honestly, this is how I used to do it. I think this looks totally fine, but a lot of people criticized me for not having a carrier fitting. So I, I thought really hard and I was like, well, how can we make this easier for you guys? Well, here's what I, what I came up with. So I'm just gonna undo all that vent piping just like that. And let's go back to the floor plan. Now, what I was thinking, I was like, wouldn't it be nice if I could just select these fittings and change them to carriers? Maybe something like this, where I just select all of my sanitary T fittings visible in this view, and I can simply just change the fitting type to a carrier. And would you look at that? Now we have nice, pretty carriers in our project, but I still need to connect the vent piping. So how do I do that? Well, I actually created a vent connection on my water closets and you can see it's right here so if i start drawing vent piping i can just click this little button right here and i can just draw it up to four feet and i can draw it over just like that and then i could make connections from this water closet up to my vent so let's show you guys in a 3d view so if i select one of my toilet fixtures i have this vent piping button right here but i can use my connect into command and make it a little easier on myself and just select that pipe right there i can do it again i can connect into select my vent connector and connect to it. And then the last one, select my vent connector right here and click on the pipe. And now that's done. But you're gonna say, hey, MEP guy, this is not connected correctly. That looks kind of funky right there, right? So let's fix that. Let's make this look perfect. So let's go back to the floor plan. And I've actually created the vent location as a instance parameter. So we can actually move it. So if I actually click on my toilet fixture, you can see these little grips right here. And these grips can actually just be moved into the center of this pipe, just like that. And now if we take a look at it in a 3D view, you can see that everything looks perfect. Now, one of the advantages of using the water closet as the supplier of this vent connector is we can use the fixture units of the water closet to provide the information through our vent piping. And I'm gonna get into that kind of stuff a little later, especially in my course, Plumbing 101, which you guys can get these water closet carriers with the purchase of my course. So I wanna take it a one step further. I wanna show you guys an even easier method to model this system. So let's go back to our floor plan and let's zoom out a little bit. And let's say I wanna do this all over again, but I wanna do it way faster because that kind of took a little bit of time. Now, one thing you might notice is uh, these are offset, so I can easily just realign them. So I can click on my wall and click on my toilet 
click on the wall, click on my toilet, and we can do it one more time. And now we're all back to looking correct. So I wanna show you guys like the ninja way to model this thing using these custom plumbing fixtures that I've created and also this custom water closet carrier. So let's go ahead and delete all of our piping. And next we're just gonna select our water closets right here. We're gonna create a piping system. First we're gonna do the sanitary and now we're gonna generate a layout. We're gonna place a base. I'm gonna put it right over here in the center. We're gonna go through the different solutions. We're gonna use a four inch pipe and then click solutions. And then we'll cycle through those until we get one that looks correct. Make sure our settings are set for six inches, just like that. And now we can finish the layout. Now that looks great. And we continue with the vent system. So let's go to a 3D view this time. And again, we're just going to select our water closets. So I'm just gonna do a little selection just like that. We'll filter it out and just select the plumbing fixtures, hit okay. Now that we have those selected, we can create another piping system. And this time we can select the vent, hit okay. And now that that's created, we can generate a layout and you can see automatically we are using four feet. So that looks perfect. We can literally just finish it from here and that looks good so far. Now we have to change these fittings to water closet carriers. So let's just select those. Now we have to make this one a T first. So let's click the pipe right there and we'll click it and select all these just like that. And now we'll go ahead and hit the drop down and change it to a MEP guy closet carrier fitting. Now we need to make sure everything lines up. So let's go back to our floor plan and we can simply just select our water closet carrier and just move this piping more to the center, just like that. And that's really all you have to do. Now the last thing we would wanna do is we wanna select this little elbow and create some more pipe, draw pipe, and something like that looks great. So this is the power of using custom families, specifically custom plumbing fixtures and custom water closet carriers, which also act as fittings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you want to get these families and water closet carriers, go to mepguy.com and also check out my free course. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to model a sanitary system insanely fast.